Thanks for joining us once again on The Art of the Matter. I'm Sharon Gamble. And I'm Travis DiNicola. And Sharon and I are standing on the cultural trail as it winds its way past the East End shops on Mass Ave. What was once a single path over on Alabama Street six years ago has blossomed into an attraction worthy of national attention. More than seven miles connecting cultural districts, entertainment venues, and people from all walks of life. And downtown Indy will never be the same. Join us as we tour the trail to see how that happens and how it all came about. After 12 years of planning, six years of construction, the eight mile Indianapolis Cultural Trail is now complete. <laughs> The Cultural Trail is unlike anything else in the world. It is an eight mile urban um, bike and pedestrian pathway that connects the downtown's uh, five cultural districts and all of the cultural, heritage, sports, entertainment, amenities in downtown Indianapolis. And instead of being a trail that takes you outside of the city, it's a trail that brings you inside the urban core and encourages you to explore its culture. Really what's very unique about the Indianapolis Cultural Trail is that we have this multi-use path with, which lots of cities have but it actually runs through an urban downtown area. The city made the really bold decision to take away a lane of vehicle traffic and give it back to the uh, pedestrians and bicyclists. And you won't find probably any other major city that's willing to take that risk. A risky idea when first imagined, the cultural trail has quickly grown into one of Indianapolis's crowning achievements. Serving as the downtown hub for the entire central Indiana Greenway system, the cultural trail was always meant to be more than just a simple pedestrian path. From the very beginning, we thought about this as an icon for our city. Instead of a, you know, a, an Eiffel Tower or a uh, gateway arch, we thought of this as a, as a horizontal you know, icon that would distinguish Indianapolis in, in the minds of uh, not only our residents, but our visitors. But it really is, is something that's not been done anywhere else in the country or, or really the world for that matter. Part of the reason the trail is unique is because you experience something new every time you're on it. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful connection is what we like to say. So it connects you to people, to places, to art, to nature. Um, and that's something that in an urban environment is really, really unique. From its inception, the Indianapolis Cultural Trail was planned as a place for public art with a focus on quality over quantity. The hope is that people will get outside, slow down a little, and experience the city in a new way. The trail wanted to focus on connecting cultural districts, supporting art and culture. So in and of itself, it's kind of not about just the destination, it's about the journey. So while you're on the cultural trail, you're experiencing high levels of high quality design through the materials, through the consideration of wayfinding. There's not a lot of signage, so you know you're on the cultural trail because when you stay on the designed pathway, you always kind of know where you are. I think the trail is really a part of the solution of Indianapolis becoming a more healthy and a more fit city. Um, one of the things that we're working on is mapping out jogging, biking, walking routes um, for, for different increments of mileage so that people know, hey, if I only have 15 minutes, I can go out and stretch my legs and get some fresh air and exercise. People to get out of their cars, get on the trail, get on the bike, go for a walk, go for a run, go for a bike ride. And it's a way to dis discover the city in a very different way um, while contributing to your health and wellness. Though not always known for its art scene on a national level, the newly completed trail is opening many eyes around the world to the potential of a more connected urban landscape, incorporating everything from art and design to retail and commerce. During the time of construction, our design team became very close and we all adopted the mantra that all people deserve the right to have access to art, beauty, and nature every day. And what that does is create a quality of life and a standard of health and living for people um, that everyone has the right to have and that everyone deserves. And if a city is going to be competitive and is going to have a bright economic future, um, they have to pay attention to these um, quality of life um, ideas and deliver those to our residents and to our visitors. And the cultural trail does that. Until you actually get out on the trail and walk it and bike it, um, it's, you really don't have a good feel for what the experience really is. It's our trail, it's a public asset, and we want people to use it to celebrate it. Come out and experience it. See what this new space is like in Indianapolis. Um, see what the potential is to be living in a connected urban downtown.